And we're on in five, four, three, two. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of that show that will not be named. I am your host, Brian, or Duke Imprints, whatever you prefer. And today, I would like to welcome you to uh, BC Alexander or Two Game Prince's Valentine's Day special. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? For all of you lovers out there who have tuned in, uh, we're going to be, I suppose, treading the lines of romance and things of that nature. Uh, for those of you who don't have anyone this special eve, it's okay. I'll be your Valentine. Uh, just let me make myself a drink real quick. It's going to be kind of a two-part of video, really, really a rather casual episode today. Um, it's actually this drink idea. First, I'm going to show you a little drink idea, and then we're going to get into the meat of potatoes of what this video is actually about. First thing I want to show you, this is a, I'm going to say, it's like some kind of uh, kiwi drink that I got at Starbucks. Um, it was funny, I actually got fired from Starbucks literally the week that these hit, that these came out. <clears throat> And these things are really good. They got like little bits of kiwi floating in there. By itself, such a good fruity drink. It's so delicious. Mm. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I love wine. I'm a big wine guy. And I'm always looking for different ways to drink wine. Um, and alcohol in general. But basically, what I got behind was that I could actually take this drink, right, and I forget when, I think I got this idea, I'm going to say, a few months ago, something like that. And if I mean, it's, I'll get your attention to this, area, this Amandine box here. I usually always have one of these laying around somewhere, because Amandine is my absolute favorite wine of all time so what i usually do is i I'd take um i forget what they call them it's, it's just like a strawberry drink there's a dragon fruit drink and a kiwi drink at starbucks and what you do is you can take any one of them it all depends on which one's your favorite i guess take them home fill half a glass with it or maybe a little less a little more and then fill the rest up with red wine and boom you have, I don't even think you need to mix it. I think the horn is all the mixing for it. And you can see the green. It doesn't make it green, but it kind of makes, gives the dark, dark blackish wine a kind of more fruity red flavor, color too. And you got like this cool, sweet sangria type thing going on. Mm. Very good. I definitely suggest it. Mmm. Now, on to the main course of this video. Basically, going to be opening up two of these. Now, for those of you who don't know what these are, Pokemon has uh, is currently having its 25th anniversary, or celebrating its 25th anniversary. In doing so, at participating locations, I'm pretty sure it's just all over the place, uh, when you get a Happy Meal, you get these. Uh, inside these... Are basically cards they're reprints of pokemon starters and stuff like that and there's like also like pikachu in there and stuff but basically there's a bunch of cards that mean so they're being given away with the kids meals and there's been like people you know selling them for like i believe one dude sold a full set on uh uh ebay or something for like 400 bucks it's like the most i've seen them go for but essentially, in each of these, I'm not sure if there's one card or if there's multiple. I haven't checked. We're about to find out today. I was actually extremely against opening these until um, in the past few days, I ended up buying three happy. Uh, I ended up buying six Happy Meals in the last two days. And I got these two, and these two just happen to have their little seals, their little um, glue broken on these. So I figured I'd open these two and the other four I'm going to leave off to the side or whatever. Just because I figured this would make good content for YouTube. So I figured, why not? I get, I haven't made a video in fucking forever. So I'm very high energy tonight. Sorry. So much chocolate today. Mm. But, um, yeah, basically we're going to be opening these today. And uh, <laughs> that's the video. 
Now, I know that um, certain cards are going for more money than others. Like, um, I know there's a whole set of regular cards. There's like 25 in total, I believe. And then there's 25 hollow or shiny, you know, whatever. And the hollows go for more, obviously. But, hmm. If I get anything good in these two, obviously I'm going to put it into a sealed pack or whatever. And I don't know if I'm going to sell them. I don't know. I'm going to just give them away. Uh, the whole reason I'm holding on to the other four is that I'm not opening those. I'm not opening those for like the next 25 years. And then when Pokemon has its 50th anniversary, then I'll probably, I don't know, sell them, give them away, whatever. But I figure hold on to it for, you know, financial reasons, some sentimental reasons, but you know. Since Pokemon's like one of the biggest brands in the friggin' world, I figure, you know, why not? Uh, hold on to those for future, you know, might help in the future. Pay some bills, maybe. We'll see what happens. Anyways, um, this is cool. This is um, kind of weird because you see how this says three and then this has one? I'm <coughs> unsure... If that means that all the ones are the exact same card, or if all the threes are the exact same card, or if that means that all the ones are like the first starters, or all the threes are all the third starters, I'm not I'm not really sure. So, um, I decided to just I got multiples. I ended up getting three ones. I've three threes, but one of the threes is like a pink packaging. Two of them look like this. The, my other two ones, this is the only one where Pikachu is facing forward. The rest are facing off to the side. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with anything or if they're just all random. But the only thing I'm really hoping for in one of these two is a Bulbasaur. That's all I really give a shit about. Um, or a Squirtle or a Charm. I didn't really do. I'm, I, you know what it is? I'm a, I'm a Pokemon purist. I like the original 151. You know, that's all I really... I mean, I do like some from Johto, but I'm very picky. Very picky with Pokemon. Mm. All right. Um, I kind of want to save this to be the next one. So we're going to do this one first. So one, just one little thing I also want to differentiate between these two. I assume this one folds into, folds into a box for you to hold the cards because the instructions there's instructions on the back of this first one. I'm not sure if that applies to this, but mm, we'll see. May come with a box, may not. Okay, so. We got in here. We got in here. All right. We have our card pack. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's... I'm I'm pretty sure it's only one card. It might be two, three. I don't know. I haven't seen any of that. What's this? What the fuck is this? Times six? I assume this is a, oh, that's cool. It's like a game on the inside. See, I'm, I assume you need to find six regular Pokeballs. And then on the other side of this thing, the flip side, it tells you, the, I guess, the answers as to where they all are. That's kind of cool, I guess. I guess this isn't a box then, because one of them comes with like a box that you can put the cards in. And then on, on top of that, we have, oh, okay, these are going on, uh, these are going on my guitar. Okay, I love putting um, stickers on my base. These are so going on, or I, I, at least the at least the Pokeballs and the Pikachu definitely is. I don't know about these guys. I may just give these stickers away. These are so cool. I love Pokemon stickers because I used to. I remember one time my grandfather was in the hospital. Don't worry, he's still he's still with us. But years ago, my grandfather was in the hospital for some shit, and. Uh, Maybe more than one card in here. Ooh, I hope so. My grandfather was in the hospital. And um, my mother bought me and my brothers. <gasps> I just got a flash of the first one. I just got a flash of the first one. I'm so excited. Um, and my mother bought us cards. Uh, not cards. She bought us sticker books. Sticker books. We didn't really color. So we got sticker books way back when. And it was... Um, he was like the third or fourth generation of Pokemon, whatever. And, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, the, the biggie, the biggie I got. Oh man, I got exactly what I wanted in the first one. First one, perfect. Okay. Uh, first up, I'm just going to say what it was good. We got Snivy. 
Very nice. Snivy. Uh, second one we got Chikorita. That's so cool. And Totodile. Ain't that a beaut. Then, that's cool. So it's like four, four to a pack. That's awesome. And then, of course, we got the one that, thank you God, I got a shiny, or I guess hollow, it, it's not like in the name, it's just the, the, the picture that's shiny, fucking Bulbasaur, this is exactly what I wanted, this is exactly, literally, I'm like, if I get anything, anything, just give me a Bulbasaur, and if you, if you could give me a shiny Bulbasaur, that's even, you know, just a glimmering one, just the art, absolutely beautiful on that. That's incredible. I'm holding on to these. I ain't getting... I mean, might get rid of these. Not getting rid of this. That, that is absolutely incredible. God, I'm so happy to have that. All right, now this may actually contain a card box inside. Possibly because it's, you know, like the first or whatever. But let's open. Got the thing. Put that over there. And, oh, look at you. Once again, very cool. You got your little Pokemon mini game right in there. And then on the other side, you have that thing. Another mini game with the answers. All right. And in this one, we have, it is, it's a box. It's a cool little box to put your Pokemon cards in. The thing is, though, how do I open this fucking thing? I don't know how to, I don't want to break it. Do I, I have no idea what to do. Oh wait, do I take this out of here? Do I push this? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not going to, you know what? Okay, this I understand because it's like, boom, that's not very hard. And then you fold these in here, right? And then you bend this down, bend this, and then this clicks in here. Yes, you're seriously watching a drunk dude on YouTube play with fucking cardboard with printed pictures of fake animals on it. Not a bad way to spend Valentine's Day. Or any other day after this, because I'm probably going to upload it in like a... An hour. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to fucking bend it. Like, there you go. Boom. Boom. You're already in. That's it. No turning back now. Okay, now since this is the top... I assume the whole point of this, see how there's like a layer to this right here? I'm assuming this goes over that. Isn't that cute? Now let me just close the bottom here. Eh. Bro, I want more. I want more of these. I want to open more, but I don't want to open the ones that I already have. i got to save those. Boom, there you go. And then there's a little box, and then you put your Pokemon cards in there. And... Ah. Oh. Isn't that the coolest thing in the world? All right, I'm gonna put this box off to the side. <clears throat> and now we open up the second pack, which is technically the first. <sighs> I'm not gonna look, I want to be surprised. Please, please, uh, uh, am I gonna get? All right, um, I'm not impressed, but I'm not upset. I got a shiny. Uh, Feniskin. Very nice. Hollow. A hollow? Yeah, I guess it's a hollow. Fo foil, that's what it's called. Foil. Uh, Froakie. Alright. Honestly, uh, like I said, if it ain't first gen, I'm not, I'm not, like, super interested. And, uh, we got Oshwat. Am I pronouncing these right? I have no idea. And Torchic. So Torchic's kind of cool, I guess. Um, like I said, out of all of them, the one I'm most happy about was Bulbasaur. I'm putting this, I'm putting this fucker in a, in a sleeve. This is the, this is the best one ever. Uh, well, thank you a lot for joining me for this riveting, uh, episode. And, uh, I hope y'all are having a good Valentine's Day. I'm probably going to go upstairs and eat, um... My girlfriend made um, chocolate-covered strawberries. I had to put those in the fridge. I accidentally left them out for a little bit. But they're freezing up again in the fridge. So thank you for joining me. And um, 
I hope to see y'all mm. soon. I definitely want to start uploading more videos. I haven't had any like ideas in the last week or so, so I'm going to try to hop back on the ball, see what happens, and I will see y'all next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Oh, also in the comment section below, tell me how uh, nutty you are about this new Pokemon thing that's all the rage. I might actually have a video coming up. Uh, I had a kind of a funny story today about trying to get these freaking cards. It was a bit of a headache, but uh, yeah. Bye-bye.